The People's Action Party has unveiled its fifth batch of new candidates, making it 15 new faces for the PAP so far. During the reveal, Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Seng said the ruling party has been able to govern because it has the faith and support of Singaporeans. This enables the government to think long term without distractions from constant politicking. The People's Action Party looks out for six key qualities in its candidates. These are commitment, capability, the ability to communicate, connecting with the ground, conviction and passion. Deputy Prime Minister Wong reminded Singaporeans that the world is full of surprises like the SARS episode in 2003 and the global financial crisis in 2008. When these surprises hit Singapore, what's important is to have strong leadership to help the people and to bring the country out of these problems. One such leader is 42-year-old Brigadier General Tan Chuan Jin, credited for his role in leading the SAF efforts to Malabo in Aceh after the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami. He is also a potential member of the fourth generation core team in Singapore's leadership renewal process. In many policies, it sometimes seems easy to just broad brush and say it should be like this and like that, because everything has an implication. How do we then balance the different needs? Um, one extreme, obviously, is you know you have a referendum for every issue, which I think that's not where most countries are going. It's not possible to govern in that respect. When a member of parliament is elected, is elected to represent the people, to make the best possible decisions on their behalf. The key thing, I think, for a member of parliament is to really listen. 37-year-old Lo Yen Ling is a former director at Singapore's Economic Development Board. She is also the PAP's third new woman candidate. I would like to help create an environment that will help support, encourage and strengthen mothers at work. The second area that I feel passionately about is ensuring that children from needy families have access to preschool education. Every child counts and I think more can still be done in this area. 40-year-old Patrick Tay adds to the slate of candidates from the Labour movement. He says meeting the challenges faced by different segments of the workforce is an ongoing process. The Employment Act in particular, uh, I think that's one area which uh, I hope to be a voice to. Uh, that, uh, and I think I see incrementally we should review the Employment Act to ensure there's a greater scope of coverage, uh, not just restricting to particular groups of people, but to extend the Scope Employment Act uh, to cover uh, more and more so that other segments of the uh, workers who are not covered within the current ambit of the Employment Act can have ready access to it, uh, other than uh, taking a civil action. Summing up, Deputy Prime Minister Wong said the PAP has done well for the people. Had we been a failed state, no one will come here to invest or even to learn from us. This election is really about your future and that of your family. Hence, it is very important to you. He added, Singaporeans must consider which party had the best team to help secure their future.